Hi traders, market starting with a huge gap up today. S&P is up 1.3% and that is mainly to the talks between Trump and the Chinese. And we've got some um, good news in the gambling industry too. So watching the market, watching several stocks as you can see here, this is how I start my day. This is the first one minute and I watch several stocks, those who are big movers, like for example, ZM, which I would like to short under $38, just posted it in the trading room. Uh, Nvidia is interesting, Win is interesting. We've got plenty of stocks that are big, big movers today. So um, this should be an interesting day. Uh, ZM here is just about to move under $85, and I would like to short it. So this should, oh, 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 that happened too quick. I missed that, I missed that, missed that, missed that move. That is a shame. That was my main short candidate. Look how it moved down. Oh, just did over 60 cents here, over 60 cents. This could have been a nice start for my trading day. Well, well, these are five minute candles. I should move to one minute. Here's how it looks like. You see this breakdown under 85. Um, well, uh, stock is down like 7% now, so it's very likely to continue down. So I could short it again at the pullback. So I'll be waiting for it to move up. If it's going to give me another chance to short, maybe pull back up and then come down again. I'm interested in getting into this trade once more. Uh, yes, that's a nice move up. Okay, if it comes down now. I should start shorting it. I'll take um, half size. That would be 2,000 shares for me. If it comes down somewhere around here, 85.8. Now I missed the 20. I want to short it at 85.20. Got a little bit below. If it's going to come down under 85, I'm going to add another 2,000 shares. The question now is whether the stock is continuing to come down or changing directions and moving up. So I want to make sure it's coming under 85 so that I could add, watching the buyers here, 85, now 85, clicking the button. I thought it's going to come down, but it did not. Touch the 85 mark, watching the 85, watching the sellers too. It's a bit spready, like 16 cents, but here we go, under 85. Great, 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 great. Recent low was uh, 84.38. Well, actually, the stock is down just 4%. I thought it was 7 Mistake. I want to see it under the lows. I think I could. Same time, Scott just posted in the trading room win over 131. Now, watch the buyers, watch the sellers. Sellers at uh, 85 now. Watch the buyers. Only watch the buyers and sellers. Don't watch the chart. Here we go. Getting close. Okay, about to go long. Over 131. Now, at 131, went long. Uh, some good um, some good results on the sales of the casino companies drives up win today and LVS and that's a nice breakout here just move 40 cents over 131 this looks like a nice winner uh, Scott just posted it in the trading room he's looking for over 132 my target would have been 132 and it looks like it's almost there here we go, touching 132 now. I'm getting ready to take my partial. Scott's looking for more. He may be right, but I just reached what is, in my opinion, my target. I'm usually working with a one-to-one -one risk award. I, I risked approximately $1, and I would love to get a $1 partial. So if it holds here, no, it's going over 132. He was right. Here we go. We're going over. Okay, getting ready to take my partial. If it pulls back down under 132, watch the sellers here, over 132 now. 132.25 right now. If they're gonna come down a little, watch the buyers 130. Oh, buyers just came down under 132, I'm clicking the button. Don't wanna take any risk here. Uh, first sign of a pullback, took my partial. That is a beautiful trade in win. ZM touched the lows, it was very, very close to a breakdown but it's very spready and still is very, very risky. And I hope that uh, it will finally do that. This topping tail right here looking good. Okay, come on, baby. Come down, come down. 
Come down. 84.38 is the lows. Watch the buyers, watch the sellers. But now, okay. Sellers just moved under, but it pulled back up a bit. I'm taking now my partial. I didn't want to take any risk. Uh, traders, just remember, you never chase a stock down or up. Doesn't matter. So ZM came down originally. I didn't short it. I wait, waited for a pullback. It doesn't always come, but when it does, it gives you a good opportunity and I enjoyed ZM. Apple is about uh, to move. Actually did. Missed it. I posted it in the trading room over 203.80. I missed it. It just moved up almost 20 cents. I'm not chasing the stock up. I'm waiting for a pullback. The same I done with, with ZM. If, if there will be a pullback, okay, great. Now it's coming down. It's coming down. Sales 87. About to click the button, clicking now. I chased it up like 10 cents now. You know, when stocks are moving to a new high, usually you would get some sort of a retest. So 203.80 was the highs. It almost touched the 203.80, came down a little bit. You don't always see that. I mean, when you do, you can you can take the chance and you can take the chance and um, and um, and wait for the pullback and you know just buy the pullback. I'm risking approximately 40 cents here, so I would like to see it getting somewhere over 204.20. It just touched 204.15. Here we go back to the highs. Good over 20 now. Over 20. Getting ready for my partial. And it was a retest, so I only now took my partial. A perfect start for my week and for July. $500 in Apple, $3,500 in Win, $1,800 in ZM. Just um, 12 minutes into the trading day, I'm already up $5,900. And you can do it too because all of these trades were called live in our trading room. Just click here for a 14-day trial and join us. Right now, join us. You can do it too. Thank you for watching our video. Before you go, we invite you to join the TradeNet trading room for a free 14-day trial. TradeNet has educated more than 30,000 professional traders worldwide since 2004, and its trading room is one of the world's leading trading communities. Click here to start your free trial. If you like this video, please subscribe to our YouTube channel where you can view many more stock trading videos. Questions or comments, please submit them below.